Shalom Alechem, and welcome. We are reading Baruch Shelashi, third Baruch, which was the scribe and successor to Yirmiyahu the prophet, Nabi Yirmiyahu. We are looking from the book of Shamayim from the Et Sefer Publishing Group, and it is the Heavens a Correction, a collection of the writings of heaven. Chapter 1, Baruch Shalashi. O man, I, Baruch, was weeping in my mind and sorrowing on account of the people, and that Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was permitted by Elohim to destroy his city, saying, Adonai, why did you set fire on your vineyard and lay it waste? Why did you do this? And why, Adonai, did you not requite us with another chastisement, but delivered us to the nations such as these, so that they reproach us and say, Where is your Elohim? And behold, I was weeping and saying such things. I saw an angel of Yahuwah, Adonai coming and saying to me, Understand, O man, greatly beloved, and do not trouble yourself so greatly concerning the salvation of Yerushalayim. For thus says Adonai Yahuwah Elohim El Elyon, for he sent me before you to make known and to show to you all the things of Elohim. For your prayer was heard before him and entered into the ears of Yahuwah Adonai Elohim. And when he had said these things to me, I was silent. And the angel said to me, Cease to provoke Yahuwah, and I will show you other mysteries greater than these. And I, Baruch, said, As Yahuwah Adonai Elohim lives, if you will show me, and I hear a word of yours, I will not continue to speak any longer. Elohim shall add to my judgment in the day of judgment, if I speak hereafter. And the angel of the powers said to me, Come, and I will show you the mysteries of Elohim. Third Baruch, Chapter 2. And he took me and led me where the expanses has been set fast and where there was a river which no man can cross, nor a strange breeze of all those which Elohim created. And he took me and led me to the first heaven and showed me a door of great size. And he said to me, Let us enter through it. And we entered as though born on wings, a distance of about thirty days' journey. And he showed me within the heavenly plain, and there were men dwelling thereon with the faces of oxen and of the horns of stags and the feet of goats and the haunches of lambs. And I, Baruch, ask the angel, Make known to me, I pray, what is the thickness of the heaven which in which we journeyed, or what is its extent, or what is the plain? in order that I may also tell the sons of men. And the angel, whose name is Penuel, said to me, This door which you see is the door of Shamayim, of heaven, and as great as is the distance from the earth to heaven, Eretz to Shamayim. So great also is its thickness. And again, as great 
as is the distance from the north to south, so great is the length of the plain which you did see. And again the angel of the powers said to me, Bo, come, and I will show you greater mysteries. But I said, I pray you show me what the are these men. And he said to me, These are those who built the tower of strife against Elohim, and Adonai banished them. Third Baruch, chapter 3. And the angel of Adonai Yahuwah took me and led me to a second Shamayim. And he showed me there also a door like the first and said, Let us enter through it. And we entered, being born on wings, a distance of about sixty days' journey. And he showed me there also a plain, and it was full of men, whose appearance was like that of dogs, and whose feet were like those of stags. And I asked the angel, I pray, sir, tell me, who are these? And he said, These are those who gave counsel to build the tower, for they whom you see drove forth multitudes of both men and women to make bricks, among whom a woman making bricks was not allowed to re be released even in the hour of childbirth, but gave birth while she was making bricks and carried her child in her apron and continued to make bricks. And Yahuwah Adonai appeared to them and confused their speech when they had built the tower to the height of 463 cubits. And they took a gimlet and sought to pierce the heaven, saying, Let us see whether the heaven is made of clay, or of brass, or of iron. When Elohim saw this, it was not permitted, but instead they were smitten with blindness and confusion of speech, and were rendered as you see. The third heaven. Baruch 30, chapter 4. And I, Baruch, said, Behold, sir, you showed me great and wonderful things, and now show me all things for the sake of Yahuwah, my Adonai. And the angel said to me, Come, let us proceed. And I proceeded with the angel from that place about 185 days journey and he showed me a plain and a serpent which appeared to be 200 plethora in length and he showed me Hades and its appearance was dark and abominable and I said who is this dragon, and who is this monster around him? And the angel said to me, The dragon is he who eats the bodies of those who spent their life wickedly, and he is nourished by them. And this is Hades, which itself also closely resembles him in that it also drinks about a cubit from the sea, which does not sink at all. Baruch said, And how does this happen? And the angel said to me, Hearken, Yahuwah Adonai Elohim made three hundred and sixty rivers, of which the chief, of all are Alpheus, Abirius, and Gerishius, 
and because of these the sea does not sink. And I said, I pray you show me which is the tree which led Adam astray. And the angel said to me, It is the vine which the angel Samael planted, at which Adonai Elohim was angry, and he caused him and his plant, while also on this account he did not permit Adam to touch it, and therefore the devil, being envious, deceived him through his vine. And I Baruch said, Since also the vine has been the cause of such great evil, and it is under judgment of the course of Elohim, and was the destruction of the first created, how is it now so useful? And the angel said, you asked rightly when Elohim caused the deluge upon the earth and destroyed all flesh, and four hundred and nine thousand giants, and the water rose fifteen cubits above the highest mountains. Then the water entered into paradise and destroyed every flower, but it removed wholly without the bounds the shoot of the vine and cast it outside and when the earth appeared out of the water and noah came out of the ark he began to plant of the plants which he found but he found also the shoot of the vine and he took it and was reasoning in himself what then is it and i came and spoke to him the things concerning it and he said shall i plant it or what shall i do since adam was destroyed because of it let me not also meet with the anger of elohim because of it and saying these things he prayed that Elohim would reveal to him what he should do concerning it. And when he had completed the prayer, which lasted forty days, and having sought many things and wept, he said, Adonai Yahuwah, I entreat you to reveal to me what I shall do concerning this plant. But Elohim said his angel Sarasael and said to him arise Noah the plant the shoot of the vine for thus says Yahuwah Adonai its bitterness shall be changed into sweetness and its curse shall become a blessing and that which is produced from it shall become the blood of Elohim and as through it the human race obtained condemnation so again through Yahusha Hamashiach they will receive in him the upward calling and the entry into paradise know therefore O Baruch that as Adam through this very tree obtained condemnation and was divested of the glory of Elohim. So also the men who now drink insatiably the wine which is begotten of it transgress worse than Adam and are far from the glory of Elohim and are surrendering themselves to the eternal fire for no good comes through it. For those who drink it to suffit do these things, neither does a brother pity his brother, nor a father his son, nor children their parents, but from the drinking of wine 
overcomes all evils such as murder, adulteries, fornications, perjuries, thefts, and such alike, and nothing good is established by it. Third Baruch chapter 5 And I, Baruch, said to the angel, Let me ask you one thing, sir. Since you said to me that the dragon drinks one cubit out of the sea, tell me also how great is his belly. And the angel said, His belly is Hades, and as far as a plummet is thrown by three hundred men, so great is his belly. Come then, that I may show you also greater works than these. Third Baruch, chapter 6. And he took me and led me where the sun goes forth, and he showed me a chariot under which burnt a fire, and in the chariot was sitting a man wearing a crown of fire, and the chariot was drawn by forty angels, and behold, a bird circling before the sun, about nine cubits away. And I said to the angel, What is this bird? And he said to me, This is the guardian of the earth. And I said, Sir, how is he the guardian of the earth? Teach me. And the angel said to me, This bird flies alongside the sun, and the expanding his wings receives its fiery rays. For if he were not receiving them, the human race would not be preserved, nor any living creature, but Elohim appointed this bird to this. And he expanded his wing and I saw on his right wing very large letters, as large as the space of a threshing floor, the size of about 400 modii, and the letters were of gold. And the angel said to me, Read them. And I read them, and they ran thus, Neither earth nor heaven bring me forth, but wings of fire bring me forth. And I said, Sir, what is this bird, and what is his name? And the angel said to me, His name is called Phoenix. And I said, And what does he eat? And he said to me, The manna of heaven and the dew of earth. And I said, Does the bird excrete? And he said to me, He excretes a worm, and the excrement of the worm is it like cinnamon, which kings and princes use. But wait, and you shall see the glory of Elohim. And while he was conversing with me, there was as a thunderclap, and the place was shaken on which we were standing. And the angel, I asked the angel, my Adonai, what is this sound? And the angel said to me, even now the angels are opening to the 365 gates of heaven, and the light is being separated from the darkness. And a voice came which said, Light giver, give to the world radiance. And when I heard the noise of the bird, I said, Sir, what is this noise? And he said, This is the bird who awakens this from slumber, the cocks upon earth. For as men do through their words, so does the cock also signify those in the world in his own speech. For the sun is made ready by the angels, and the cock crows. 
Third Baruch, chapter 7. And I said, And where does the sun begin its labors after the cock crows? And the angel said to me, Listen, Baruch, all things whatever I show to you are in the first and second heaven. And in the third heaven, the sun passes through and gives light to the world. But wait, and you shall see the glory of Elohim. And while I was conversing with him, I saw the bird, and he appeared in front and grew less and less, and at length returned to his full size. And behind him I saw the shining sun, and the angels which drew it, and a crown upon its head, the sight of which we were not able to gaze upon and behold. And uh, as I soon, as the sun shone, the phoenix also stretched out his wings. But I, when I beheld such great glory was brought low with great fear and I fled and hid in the wings of the angel and the angel said to me fear not Baruch but wait and I will show you their settings third Baruch chapter 8 and he took me and led me towards the west. And when the time of the setting came, I again saw the bird coming before it, and as soon as he came, I saw the angels, and they lifted the crown from his head. But the bird stood exhausted and with, with wings contracted. And beholding these things, I said, Sir, why did they lift the crown fr from the head of the sun, and why is the bird so exhausted? And the angel said to me, The crown of the sun, after it has run through the day, four angels take it and bear it up to heaven and renew it, because it and its rays have been defiled upon the earth. Moreover, it is so renewed each day. And I, Baruch, said, Sir, and why are its beams defiled upon earth? And the angel said to me, Because it beholds the lawlessness and unrighteousness of men. Namely, fornications, adulteries, thefts, extortions, idolatries, drunkennesses, murder, strife, jealousies, evil speakings, murmurings, whisperings, divinations, and such, which are not well-pleasing to Elohim. On account of these things, it is defiled, and therefore is it renewed. But you ask concerning the bird, how it is exhausted. Because by restraining the, the rays of the sun through the fire and the burning heat of the whole day, it is exhausted. For as we said before, unless his wings were screening the rays of the sun, no living creature would be preserved. Third Baruch, chapter 9. And they, having retired that night, also fell, and at the same time came the chariot of the moon, along with the stars. And I, Baruch, said, Sir, show it to me also. I beseech you how it goes forth, where it departs, and in what form it moves along. And the angel said, Wait, and you shall see it also shortly. And on the following day I also saw it in the form of a woman, and sitting on a wheeled chariot, 
and there were before it oxen and lambs in the chariot, and a multitude of angels in like manner. And I said, Sir, what are the oxen and the lambs? And he said to me, They also are angels. And asked I myself asked, Why is it that at one time it increases, but at another time it decreases? And he said to me, Listen, O Baruch, this which you see was written by Elohim to be beautiful as no other. And at the transgression of the first Adam, it was near to Shamael when he took the serpent as a garment. And it did not hide itself, but increased. And Elohim was angry with it and afflicted it and shortened its days. And I said, how does it not also shine always, but only in the night? And the angel said, Listen, as in the presence of a king, the courtiers cannot speak freely, so the moon and the stars cannot shine in the presence of the sun, for the stars are always suspended but they are screened by the sun and the moon, although it is uninjured, is consumed by the heat of the sun. Third Baruch chapter 10. And when I had learned all these things from the archangel, he took and led me into the a fourth heaven, and I saw a monstrous plain in the middle of a pool of water, and there were in it multitudes of birds of all kinds, but not like those here on Eretz, earth. But I saw a crane which was as great as a great oxen, and all the birds were great beyond those in the world. And I asked the angel, What is the plain, and what is the pool, and where are the multitudes of birds around it? And the angel said, Listen, Baruch, the plain which contains in it the pool and other wonders is the place where the souls of the Zadok, the righteous, come when they hold converse living together in choirs. But the water is that which the clouds receive and rain upon the earth and the fruits increase. And I said again to the angel of Yahuwah, but what are these birds? And he said to me, they are those who continually sing praise to Yahuwah. And I said, Sir, how do men say that the water which descends in rain is from the sea? And the angel said, The water which descends in rain, this also is from the sea and from the waters upon the earth. And But that which stimulates the fruits is only from the latter source. Know therefore, hereafter that from this source is what is called the dew of heaven. Baruch 3, chapter 11. And the angel took me and led me from there to the fifth heaven. And the gate was closed, and I said, Sir, is this gateway not open that we may enter? And the angel said to me, We cannot enter until Machael comes, who holds the keys of the kingdom of heaven. But wait, and you shall see the glory of Elohim, 
and there was a great sound as thunder. And I said, Adonai, what is this sound? And he said to me, even now, Makael, the commander of the angels, comes down to receive the prayers of men. And behold, a voice came, saying, Let the gates be opened. And they opened them, and there was a roar as of thunder. And Machael came, and the angel who was with me came face to face with him, and said, Hail, my commander, and that of all our order. And the commander, Machael, said, Hail you also, our brother, and the interpreter of the revelations to those who pass through life virtuously. And having saluted one another, they stood still. And I saw the commander, Machael, holding an exceedingly great vessel. Its depth was as great as the distance from heaven to earth, and its breadth as great as the distance from north to south. And I said, Sir, what is that which Machael the archangel is holding? And he said to me, This is where the merits of the Zadok, the righteous, enter, and such good works as they do, mitzvotes, which are escorted before the heavenly Elohim. Third Baruch 12. And as I was conversing with them, behold, angels came bearing baskets full of flowers. And they gave them to Machel. And I asked the angel, Sir, who are these, and what are the things that come from beside them? And he said to me, These are the angels who are over the righteous and the archangel took the baskets and cast them into the vessel. And the angel said to me, These flowers are the merits of the Zadok, the righteous. And I saw other angels bearing baskets, which were neither empty nor full. And they began to lament and did not venture to draw near, because they did not have the prizes complete. And Machiel cried and said, Come here also, you angels. Bring what you have brought. And Machiel was exceedingly grieved, and the angel who was with me, because they did not fill the vessel. And then, in like manner, other angels came in, weeping and bewailing, saying with fear, Behold, how we are overclouded, O oh, my Adonai, for we have delivered to evil men, and we wish to depart for them from them. And Machael said, You cannot depart from them, in order that the enemy may not prevail to the end. But say to me what you ask. And they say, We pray, Machael, our commander, transfer us from them, for we cannot abide with wicked and foolish men, for there is nothing good in them but every kind of unrighteousness and greed, for we do not behold them entering into fellowship at all, or entering among the spiritual fathers, nor into any good work, but where there is murder, they are also in the midst, and where there is fornications, adulteries, thefts, slanders, perjuries, jealousies, drunkenness, strifes, env envying, murmurizing, whispering, 
idolatry, divination, and such, then are they workers of such works and of other worse? Wherefore we entreat you that we may depart from them. And Machael said to the angels, Wait until I learn from Yah Adonai what shall come to pass. Third Baruch 13. And then in like manner other angels came in weeping and bewailing and saying with fear, Behold how we are overclouded, O my Adonai, for we were delivered to evil men, and we wish to depart from them. And Machael said, You cannot depart from them in order that the enemy may not prevail to the end. But say to me what you ask. And they said, We pray. Machael, our commander, transform us from them. For we cannot abide with their wicked and foolish men. For there is nothing, Tov, good in them, but every kind of unrighteousness and greed. For we do not behold them entering into fellowship at all, or entering among the spiritual fathers, nor into any good work. But there is murder. They are also in the midst of where there are fornications, adulteries, thefts, slanders, perjuries, jealousies, drunkennesses, strife, envying, envying, murmuring, whispering, idolatry, divination, and such. Then are they workers of such works and of others worse. Wherefore, we entreat you that we may depart from them. And Machael said to the angels, Wait until I learn from Adonai what shall come to pass. Third Baruch 14 And in that very hour Machael departed, and the doors were closed. And there was a sound as thunder. And I asked the angel, What is the sound? And he said to me, Machael is even now presenting the merits of men to Elohim. Third Baruch 15 And in that very hour, Machael descended, and the gate was opened. And he brought oil, and as for the angels which brought the baskets which were full, he filled them with oil, saying, Take it away, reward our friends a hundredfold for those who have laboriously wrought good works, and those who sowed virtuously also reap virtuously. And he said also to those bringing the half-empty baskets, Come here you also, and take away the reward according as to what you brought and delivered it to the sons of men. When he said also to those who brought the full baskets and to those who brought the half-empty baskets, Go and bless our friends and say to them that thus says Yahuwah Adonai, You are faithful over a few things. I will set you over many things. Enter into the Simcha, the joy of our Adonai. Third Baruch, chapter 16. And turning, he said also to those who brought nothing, Thus said Adonai, Do not be of a sad countenance, and do not weep, nor let the sons of men alone. But since they angered me in their works, go and make them envious and angry, and provoked against a people that is not a people. 
a people that has no understanding. Further, besides these, I sent forth the caterpillar and the unwinged locust and the mildew and the common locust and hail with lightnings and anger and punish them severely with the sword and with death and their children with demons. For they did not hearken to my voice, nor did they observe my mitzvot, my commandments, nor do them, but were despisers of my commandments, and insolent toward the priests who proclaimed my words to them. Third Baruch 17. And while he yet spoke, the door was closed, and we withdrew, and the angel took me and restored me to the place where I was at the beginning. And having come to myself, I gave glory to Elohim, who counted me worthy of such honor. Wherefore, you do also, brethren, who obtain such a chazan, a revelation, yourselves also glorify Elohim, so that he may glorify you. Now and forevermore, and to all eternity, le'olam va'ed, umen. Thank you for joining us, and shalom. This is Mr. Vance of YHWHY, and thank you for the whole Et Sefer team and Dr. Stephen Pigeon for their works. Baruch Hashem. Yivareka Yahweh v'yishmaraka Ya'er Yahweh penavaleke v'yuneka v'yasem lecha Shalom